this is my Holland Lock broken senior buck and I am carrying him to the table. Note that I have one hand under his belly, I have one under his back, and he's under my arm. Set him down. We're going to pose him. This is a Holland Lock. He poses up where some of the others pose down. And the first thing I want to say is he poses up, and the first thing we're going to check is the ears. And I'm checking the left ear. What I'm looking for is his private tattoo. Uh, in this case, uh, he's 27RK. Also can check the right ear. Uh, what we can look for in there, there might be a coop number that will have been written in for the rabbit. Uh, in this case, he has a circle R tattoo that says that he's registered. A judge will also be looking at right color for the ears, right carriage for the ears, uh, in this case is it locked, uh, and what have you. We'll be looking for nicks and tears uh, and proper shape to the ears. And if it was a breed other than a Holland lock that has a length requirement, might actually be looking at whether the ears are the right length or not. So at this point we're ready to turn the rabbit over. And for this rabbit I will grasp the rabbit with my fingers between the two ears, and I'll turn him over, and the judge will be looking at how you turn the rabbit over. And the first thing I look for with my rabbit turned over is the eyes. In this case, he's a uh, black tortoise hollow mop, uh, broken, so I'm looking to see if he has brown eyes or not. Also looking to see if he has any discharge around of the eyes uh, that might be a sign of pink eye or conjunctivitis. I'm looking inside each eye to see if there are any spots that might be a sign of walleye or moon eye or cataracts. Moving down the rabbit's head, we go to the nose. I'm looking to see if there's a sign of a discharge or not that might be a sign of snuffles. Uh, or other respiratory infections. Moving down the for proper bite, you'll notice on this rabbit that he has his top feet teeth over the bottom as opposed to opposing one another, which would be uh, but, which would be um, budding uh, or simple malocclusion. If his bottom teeth had been out over the top, that would be malocclusion, and it would be highly undesirable. So we check the teeth. Then moving down the rabbit's body, I come next to the front legs. I'm checking the straightness of the legs. And then I'll move to the paw. And notice I put my finger inside of the paw. That should move the toes apart so that I can see that this rabbit has four regular toenails and a dew claw. They've been trimmed. The colors match. With a broken rabbit, it's not so critical because you're probably going to see white toenails. But if it's a colored rabbit, another colored rabbit, you would look to see if the, all the colors match or not and are the proper color for the breed. We move over to the other side, repeat the process. This rabbit has four toenails, all there, and a dew claw. Then I move down the rabbit's belly. I'm feeling to see if there are lumps or bumps or abscesses, uh, inflammation of the mammary glands, if it had been a doe, this is a buck. If it's a colored rabbit, you could blow, that would give you an idea if the rabbit's under color or not. And then I'll move down a little farther, and we can look for straightness of the rear leg. Push there, here at the um, joint uh, above the hock, and that would show. Then you can go on into the paw and look for, again, four toenails, properly matched and trimmed. Repeat the process on the other side. Look in here, toenail, finger within the paw. We're looking for four properly matched toenails of the right color, also checking to see if they're trimmed. Then we'd like to move to the genitals. I didn't mention but Oh, yeah, there we go. Yep, he's a buck. And I would also be checking for the two testicles. Uh, and looking down the rabbit to his tail, it is there. It is the right color. 
it is straight. Uh, if it has curled to one side, that might be a sign of screw tail. His tail is proper. You can see a screw tail on a rabbit much better once the rabbit's turned back over than you can from this boat. But you can tell if there's a break at this point. Now I'm ready to turn the rabbit back over. I'm pose him. Not pose perfectly. First thing I want to check is this rabbit's fur. And if it had been another breed, it might have been wool. I put stroke downward, and then I stroke back up. I'm looking for rollback fur in this particular breed. Show my hand. That's an indication as to whether there is a clean hand or whether it's got fur on it. Uh, in this case, the hand is clean. That's a sign that the coat is not slipping. Okay. Um, this rabbit is not in perfect condition, so he does not have a prime line. But you want to look to see if there's a prime line. If the rabbit had it, it would look like there's a line of fur down the side. And that would be a desirable thing on a normal coated rabbit. Next, we're ready to show the different poses in the rabbit that will show the rabbit's tight and strong and weak points. I have him in a side pose. He's a Holland posed up. He's not going to stay that way without me working with him. Front pose. And you can look at correctness of feet and legs. Rear pose. I'm looking to see with each of these poses if he's got the right contour and shape to the body. In this case, this, this rabbit has a fairly decent hindquarter. He's not undercut. He does have some um, meat and fur showing back here that's desirable. Uh, in terms of, and I'm going to take him back to a side pose where I'd be looking for his rise and what have you. Uh, strengths of this rabbit, he has a bold head. Uh, I would criticize him for his crown being a little bit slip, for not maybe having as much uh, fullness in the upper midsection as I'd like. Yeah. So at this point, I think I'm ready to answer any questions you may have.